pros and cons of registering uh, .co.za versus the .com. So are there any pros of registering a .co.za as opposed to registering a .com? So I think the first question you need to ask yourself basically is, do you do business locally or do you do business internationally? If the majority of your business is done with inside of South Africa, there is a huge pro in relating to registering a CO.za. And the pro bases itself off how Google's search algorithm works. So it, prov it basically prioritizes the .co.za if the search is done within South Africa. So if you have a co.za, there's going and, and the clients are searching for your company name or, or your products online and you own a co.za, that's going to be prioritized, the localized search, if they are searching within South Africa, okay, over the .com. But if, come, if your clients, the majority of your clients are international, then the preference would be to go for the .com as opposed to the co.za. So that's about the only pro in relating to the differentiating between the co.za and the .com if you need to make that choice. Keep in mind that even though the co.za is very well established and it's highly, highly utilized with inside of the country, um, there are so many more dot coms out there. Okay, so if you register the dot com, you could still find huge amounts of competition relating to the competitiveness with, as regards to your ranking on Google search. So I would say that, you know what, if you're a localized company, if you're a company and the majority of, of your your clients are South African based, go with the .co.za. If they're not, go with the com. So keep that in mind when uh, making the choice to either go with the .co.za or the .com. Obviously for now, your options are still wider relating to domain name choices as opposed to the .com. It's very, very difficult to find a .com which is available that still has uh, generic words.